I'm Alex, and I'm an accidental philosopher. I'm feeling a little bit Tarantino today. Which brings up the question about style. Is style inherent? This is something that has bugged me for a long time now. To think that a style is ingrained in someone, embedded in someone, or if style is developed over time. Especially as an artist, I've been trying to divulge myself in a lot of different creative avenues, Tarantino being one of them. I have done research on Tarantino as if he was my next artist. The previous one before him, I spent a lot of time on Kevin Smith. I I researched a lot about Kevin Smith as an artist to, to learn where his influences come from. But then you got someone like, not Andy Rooney. Oh man, he's, well, Jackson Pollock, for example. Where does Jackson Pollock get his inspiration from? His influence? Or is that his own style? Something that he felt he wanted to represent himself by? Now, thanks to Tarantino, I could never make a movie about it with a string being tied to some spenders and some white collared shirts, maybe some sunglasses. Because everyone would think of Reservoir Dogs. Or would they? Would this bring up the notion of monkey spheres? And it, we all live in a culture of a monkey sphere that certain things rise to the top. For example, you can't say Batman nowadays without either saying Heath Ledger or not Crispin Glover. Man, I am really bad with names. Christian Bale. Yes, Christian Bale, phenomenal actor. So the notion of style in the movies to me is something that I like to hold my hand in and actually do a little bit of research on and actually see what is trending, if you will. Now, is that what an artist does? Did Picasso say there needs to be a little bit more blue inside the oil paintings we got going on here? And his blue period was born. The only man in history to have a period and it be okay. So an artist develops his style, right? I like to think over the course of time, Axton the Philosopher has been developing in style and shape and form as well. So have a lot of my other shows, as if they develop their own voice. Well, it got me thinking about what is voice? Now there's a lot of things that I like to deal with when making Axton the Philosopher. There's an internet language going on here. I discovered the notion of where this internet language comes from. The vlog jump cuts is a stylistic choice but chosen by some people. And it got me wondering why is the jump cut now official in the term of cinematography. Well, it's because people don't understand how to make movies. They just film themselves and then cut out the good parts and stack them side by side. And that results in this jump cut. Normal filmmaking hasn't usually employed. Yes, I know there's some like, you know, discrepancies with handy cams and jump cuts within a uh, traditional film. So the vlog and Acts of the Philosopher is an extension of my own personal style. Style that has been developed over time, especially with doing artist research. Big one is obviously Spielberg. People want to talk about Spielberg films and Spielberg films and how they've influenced everyone. Well, is that just the giant monkey sphere of the nation? You tell me. Well, tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. Please subscribe to our channel. Our now our next reading of DOS Energy. Each person's needs are different. Increasing awareness means increasing awareness of this fact. Increasing awareness of this fact means the dissolution and collapse of all existing governments, economic systems, educational systems, conceptual systems, so it goes. Change is a constant. I'm Alex, and I'm an accidental philosopher.